family they are a little cacao fairy today, so she's the one that made the cacao. We all know that this medicine is a beautiful medicine because it's a mirror of our own energy. So whenever we make the cacao, <laughs> puts our energy into it, so we can all think Kami for a beautiful energy into this cacao. <laughs> Take a moment here to inhale through the nose and big exhale together. Inhale. Ah. Inhaling and exhaling. And as long as you exhale, you can feel your sit bones on the ground. You can feel the warm of the cacao between your hands, making yourself be grounded to this sacred land. You can give some thanks to Mama Cacao for her medicine. Thanks to the ancestors who had transmitted this wisdom from generation to generation. Thanks to this sacred land where the cacao can grow. Thanks to the elements Sun, water, which make the plants grow. Thanks to all the people who had participated to the creation of this cacao from the beginning of the sea. while you are hearing the birds around you, the sound of nature, bring your attention between the cacao and your heart. Can you breathe into that space? vulnerable and authentic space with an authentic intention to meet Mama Kakao today, to allow her to support us into our journey. Mama Kakao, may you allow us to follow the path of our heart. Mama Kakao, may you allow us to follow the path of our heart. And so it is. From here you can take more time by smelling the cacao. Connect even a little bit more to this essence. And when you're ready, take the first sip. And if you want to put more intention in it, call in whatever resonates with your heart today. Thank you. 
here and when you're ready you can open your eyes or even stay with your eyes closed while Sagi can open the cooker. Well for the openings you're gonna do Ganesha? Yeah. So what I've been taught about starting with Ganesha, they're doing it a lot in India because Ganesha is the symbol for new beginnings and also other stuff like removing obstacles. I'm not sure about the stories. Also, this is a great invitation. As I said, I don't know a lot of, of the stories and the traditions. So if we're singing any mantra and, and someone has a story to tell about the mantra, please share with us. I would love to bring into the space that the uh, phases of transition transitions in life can be a bit uncomfortable right here now in this space uh, the manager left and the owner is going to come back in two weeks so there's this in between so how do we feel in this in between and how it opens door, doors for us to meet something new it can be uncomfortable it is, it is also a beautiful invitation so for all of you to step in also and really be part of this curtain and co-create with us so yes, definitely, if you have anything to share, please feel free to contribute. Thank you. Cool. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, Ganesha, yeah, Ganesha is for clearing, removing obstacles. So it's a good way to start because <laughs> mm -hmm. Something like that. <laughs> we can remove all our obstacles and focus on what we want and get closer to our dreams and our intentions. And and actually, this song is by uh, the this version of this song is by a guy. And it's my favorite Ganesha mantra. And he was at the lake uh, like a week ago. So that was cool. <laughs> so, anyway.
Open the way for my life to go free With the illusion that I may see Simmons by the harmony Every step of Deep inhale and bring the energy into the heart space. Exhale. <sighs> One more time. Deep inhale. I think the power to come together and to sing to Ganesha is the one removal of, of obstacles. We fill the space with our voices and with our hearts, and this is what removes the obstacles. So the more you offer your presence into your heart space, the more you're present into your throat chakra, and the more we're going to remove obstacles all together, and we're going to join our forces together. So, thank you. Oma Satoma. So this mantra we can say it once Oma Satoma Sat Gamaya. Oma Satoma Sat Gamaya. Tamasoma. Tamasoma. Jyotir Gamaya. Jyotir Gamaya. Mrityoma. Mrityoma. Amritam Gamaya. Amritam Gamaya. So the translation that I know is lead me from darkness to light. From Deaths to internal life and from the, the unreal to the real. The unreal to the real. Mm -hmm. So, what page is it? It's 118. So, I'm just putting the couple so you see the couple second. Yeah, there it is. I can, yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And if anyone wants to play, there's an extra guitar. Mm -hmm. And if anyone are you playing that? Ah, uh, for some songs. Oh, okay, cool. Not cool. all of them. The guitars on the dog, the dog suddenly moves. Can you have the yellow thing yet? Yeah. Pass it on. And and if someone is playing harmonium or so, feel free to come. I can go back there and maybe later. Okay.
When it's hot, music instrument getting out, out of tune. Also when it's cold. They like uh, equal temperature. <laughs> Which brings in a sense of gratitude for the instrument that we have. 
That doesn't change where the hot is. <laughs> Our body takes care of it and keeps it in a warm temperature. <laughs> so being grateful for the vocal cords that we have and the instruments we have inside of our bodies that allows us to sing. Did you guys know that there's only four species on the planet Earth that have the capacity to sing? Yeah. We are one of them. Do you know the three other ones? Birds. 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 Whales. Whales. And close to whales? Dolphins. 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 Yeah. These are the three species that have the capacity to sing. And we are the fourth one. Uh, for, yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> so imagine, out of all of the species and the abundance that we have on this planet Earth, we have the capacity to sing, to make our vocal cords vibrate, and to just emanate a sound. So whatever you sound like, just think of the miracle that you have the capacity to just think and bring that into the, the space when you sing and inside of your body. <laughs>
I definitely know this one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so. I changed all the songs for my voice because mm -hmm. in the kirtans, when it's too low, I won't complain. And I kept losing the cap, my capo. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm almost there. So, while he finding, he's finding the songs, we can just take all of us a big inhale through the nose and anti exhale, ground ourselves more. Coming back to the present moment. Just maybe feeling all our presence together. Maybe feeling the wind on your skin. And feel what is present for you right now. And just embrace and stay with this sensation like you want to hold it into your heart. Whatever it is. Okay, cool. So this one is for uh, a prayer for the goddess uh, Lakshmi. Mm -hmm. And yes, last week I was studying. I found out. I was like, oh, maybe I should be Hindu <laughs> for a bit. So I was listening about. <laughs> The gods, because I like the songs, but I don't really know much about the gods, so I was learning about them, and I found there was a god called uh, a goddess called Bumi, which is the goddess of Mother Earth. So, uh, so I was singing a song by her, connecting to the earth, and um, so I have a song by her. But it's a bit complicated, I can't even remember it. But we'll get there. And, but apparently, the goddess Bhumi is also the goddess Lakshmi. So, well, I don't really, yeah. They're kind of the same thing. You want to say a word about Lakshmi? Yeah. Okay. She's the expert of Lakshmi. I'm just doing it. <laughs> So Lakshmi is known as the goddess of abundance, um, beauty, so we can just all connect to this energy like what is abundance for you, but more, less with the mind, just how does abundance feels for you. You can just take a moment here, it's like, 
how does abundance feel and connect to this energy i saw the beauty like she's really she has lotus flower in her hand there is an elephant close to her so really she's just sitting here receiving all the abundance and we have a lot around us the nature um being reuniting us together here so take a moment to feel connect and celebrate we don't need to know the words we just need to connect with the energy Devi Namaha. 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 Namaha.
So here we're gonna keep honoring and singing the name of the Devi of the Goddesses. We're gonna sing for Ma Durga. So she's, she represents our strength, our courage, how brave we can be. And as Ganesha can remove the obstacles to me, Durga, Durga resonates like um, we sometimes we don't need to overcome the obstacles, but how can we move into the storm, calling our courage in, and how can we, in the middle of the storm, see the gifts that are that God is offering to us? Sometimes there is no need to overcome but maybe just see from another perspective and so she's so brave she's sitting she, she has a tiger next to her she has like some weapons she's really determined to fight for life fight for love and um fight for her truth so maybe we can you can take a moment like what are you calling in you were sitting on a tiger in the middle of the storm what what would you call <laughs> in <laughs> hard to imagine yeah maybe you don't have the answer that's okay <laughs> <laughs> so let's think for the for the storms so the lyrics are uh, jaya jagadambe jaya jagadambe two times Jema Durga Jema Durga and just saying I'm really this is kind of the this is the first time <laughs> and I'm playing like this in a kitten so um, if I get lost sometime it can happen I will do my best yeah mm -hmm. i will uh, i will follow your voice
original for Krishna. It's 124. And in the middle, I will go to Hare Krishna, which is 110. Okay, what do you say? I will start with 124. Yeah. Then I will combine it with 110. 124 and 110. 124 and 110. Ah, okay. And I play version 2 in terms of the chords.
Love you. Thank you. 